So let's take it back to the beginning and have a little bit of a recap. First of all, we obviously had to clear through and organize all the previous owners, items, belongings, and sort out what was for waste removal. This was one of the most lengthy processes um, doing the house clear out and waste removal is just a nightmare in France as well. We'll talk about that shortly. This was also very difficult. So we had um, the previous owner's belongings in the property for a long time, which we had to try and work around and move from one end of the building to another end while we marked out the floor for new walls and layouts. And it was just really, really difficult. Now at this point, we actually still didn't have anywhere to put his boxes of things. The garage still had his old car in, which didn't start and it needed removing, but nobody would remove the vehicle without the paperwork. But I'm happy to say we eventually got the paperwork and the car is now removed out of the garage and all his things have been moved out of the property. This scene here, another extremely difficult part, and I know I've not got enough protection on here looking back, um, but we're just trying to work out whether these are bed bugs or not. And I don't think they were, luckily, but um, yeah, I definitely wasn't prepared. But I insisted we get this mattress out of my property. It was completely germ ridden and we changed it for a different mattress. And if you watched the previous episode, you will know that he is no longer in the main building. He is now in the downstairs room for the time being. And we changed the locks, which was amazing progress. Looking back, honestly, <laughs> I can't believe how far we've actually come. Um, I'm sorry to show you this scene again, but I'm just gobsmacked still. So here is his bed getting removed, going downstairs, and we've now got a clear property and we can actually get into the, the proper renovations and the exciting part, guys. It's time for the exciting part and to see the transformation. Now, some of you might agree or disagree, but we've always taught our kids through real life experiences. They've been sheltered from very little. We just always make sure they're safe, but we involve them in everything, including this renovation and show them the different situations and how we deal with them. It's about understanding other people's circumstances, learning patience and appreciating everything that we have. These, I believe, are invaluable life lessons that we feel are best taught through living and doing. So let's get on with this renovation and see some transformation and get excited. So we have got all the markings on the floor ready for the new layout. We're obviously building new walls and just changing things around a little bit. So before the hallway was super wide, there was a lot of space on that entrance and down the hallway, um, which I absolutely loved. It was one of my favorite parts, but we had to pinch a little bit of that space to make more room in the bedrooms and we've actually managed to gain a extra bathroom. We've given Nancy a little ensuite bathroom which is a huge bonus. So here you can see all the framework going up. Bit of dry lining. <laughs> wall building. Oh, with the wall. Actually got good. We've got like half done Half of the property done. Oh, more. The framework. There's only that. There's only that section there left to do. Is boards going in today? Tomorrow. That's exciting because it'll actually feel like a proper wall, so you'll be able to get the feel for the room sizes. So boards going. No board. No boards today. No boards. No, because I've got all the rest of the frame to do. Okay. I've got my helper with me today. Yes. I'm ready. She holds the level. I hold the level. Yeah. Actually makes a big difference. I do feel a bit of a spare part, but it actually helps. Um, where is the one? And one of these. we've got the electrician, uh, electricity first fix. Still and going plumbing. On. And plumbing. Mm -hmm. Exciting. I hold it like this. She does. I and you, you, look what you've done. What? You've plonked it on my glue. <gasps> on the thing that you meant to, that I need to put up. Oh. 
Look at this. Oh, no. Idiot. Yeah. Take. <laughs> well, can I put the glue on here in this bit? Like that. Well, you didn't stop me, did you? You didn't realise yourself. You need to bring it this way more. Look. Oh, have I got uh, cables to deal with now as well? Or not? We'll see. So I guide it into the framework and check that the bubble's in place. Very important job. also done a little bit of work on the garden as well so going right back to the beginning you may remember that we just clipped back what we could more for health and safety reasons because everybody had to be in and out of the property up and down the stairs but since then we've done a bit more of a strip back so a lot of these trees down the border were rotten and dead so we removed some obvious ones and just cleared out what we could now in the future when I actually get round to doing this courtyard area I've got big plans I can't wait to do that with you but um, for now it's just a case of stripping it back clearing it up um, it's not urgent it's not needed to get us moved in so we are concentrating more on the inside of the property at the moment but once I'm moved in I'll just get some nice pots and bits out here for now and obviously a new gate and security system on the front there um, but look at this parts of the garden you couldn't even see because it was just years and years of root and weed build up is it still attached? Yeah. God, that is years, isn't it? <laughs> I can't even pull it. Look at that. 
Look at that nice suit, it's like thick carpet. Carpet. It's a new carpet for your bedroom. <sighs> I can't do it. I would actually have it if it was a nice grass. If it was nice grass. Uh, we've got a corner of a garden. That's the plan, make some room to put more rubbish in there. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly old time last. So another extremely satisfying part of this renovation was doing the external clean at the front. So all these shutters and windows, the doors there, they all need taking off and refurbing. But before we do that, I just wanted to give them a really good jet wash because there's at least 20 years worth of dirt build up here. And oh, just look at this. I'm thinking it gets the most sun but look at that that's gonna be really easy to get all that paint off there it's just crumbling and even the railings are worse in this um, end room as well it must be the Sun constantly on it but how nice it's gonna look and obviously the shutters are all gonna get redone as well um, yeah they're in a crumbly mess but like you will have seen the amount of grime that have come out of all these today just jet washed it all out honestly it felt so much better i'm so glad we did that and now when i'm sanding and stuff i know that the the muck's gone you know um but look at all the paint it's just coming off here it's gonna be a real transformation Love a transformation. Continuing with sanding all the um, double doors today, getting them ready and prepped for paint. And we're having the glass changed in them as well to thicker glass. But I was using this tool with the pads that you get, but it's it's not great. Um, I don't know. It's it's worn down, isn't it? She's worn out the Velcro, <laughs> basically. It wasn't my fault, Tony. It's you worn out the Velcro. She's working hard. And you could potentially do the same with these. So you have I'll to try not line. to. Look. I think the problem was I put paint stripper oh, on first and then started using the um, the sander. And I think the paint stripper is that strong that it's contributed to wearing down the Velcro. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got some new tools uh, this morning. New sanding equipment so i can continue with the doors an ooh, orbital ooh, this is an orbital sun that looks good uh, spins okay nice. this is what i think you should go over it with first okay yeah yeah 
And we've also got you a range of pads oh, with different exciting. grips. So this is a very coarse pad. Oh, I think it's I'll 40 need that grip. first. Yeah. That will strip that off really quickly, but it'll also leave it quite uh, rough. rough. Yeah. And then we've got you an 80. Yeah, which yes. is in the middle. We've got you a 120. And you've even got some finishing pads that came with these that got 240, which I don't think you really need. But. Well, I think go over with the the deepest, grittiest pad first, and then just try straight onto a one of these ones to give it a, a nice finish. Yeah. yeah. A trigger pull and go. You've got a look, a single extension here. Lovely. All set up, right? All, All set, set up. up on my new trestles, you know. New trestles, yeah. So the door prep is quite important because I would say that these need doing um, for moving in because we, we use them and they're obviously on the internal part of the house but then the shutters which are another big big job but more um, you know it's more exterior aesthetics so they can wait and they can get done after we move in there's no rush to do those so at the moment we're just concentrating on everything that needs doing so that we can get them moved in uh, to this building so that is the plan all other jobs can wait essential ones only so i made a bit of a blunder here guys being completely honest i got to door number three deep in daydreaming mode as i'm doing this and going down the many layers of paint that was on these doors and i'm just thinking to myself gosh i wonder how old these doors are and when this first layer of paint was put on and something made me think about lead paint i didn't know what lead paint was or the dangers of it but then i googled and it's extremely dangerous of course to make any kind of dust with lead paint because if it gets in your system it's extremely poisonous and difficult to get rid of so that came to a halt after door number three and we thought about another solution of how to deal with these doors it took me about 30 minutes to do that door well one side of the door so I don't know, probably an hour on each door and we have got, well I'm only on number two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten doors on the front and then, oh, I haven't even thought about ones like this. This obviously needs a lot of work because it's bright blue. Hey up. What are you doing? Just building a little niche. Can it not be any deeper than that? No, that's the back of the wall. Okay. It will be deeper. Oh, right. Obviously, it's got 20 mil of, uh, oh, no. 25 mil of plasterboard. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, it's got 10 mil of tile. Oh, good. Oh, actually, no, it because you've got a tile at the back. Okay. So it's the same. So you've got so 20. So it's deep enough to sit some it's bits seven, on. It's, that's all. It'll be about 75 millimeters deep. Something like that. Yeah, good. What is it? Where's my tape measure? Show you. It's going to be like that deep. That's fine. Normally we make them about an hundred, so... But we haven't got the width yeah, in the wall in. Good morning. Morning. We are just about to set off to the apartment. To do some work there's going to be lots of people there today probably the most people that's been on site all at the same time isn't it it's a really busy day yes, um so we're heading there to help out and get some work done because we have to be moved in in four weeks time so it's got to get done uh, initially we did think we'd be doing lots more by ourselves and just over a longer period of time but because our rental is coming to an end it's it's just got to happen we've got to have everybody on there working and we're almost in August and oh my gosh the heat this last few days it's so so hot which is lovely if you're on holiday if you're holiday in 
which most people do for July and August. They just stop working here and it shuts down a little bit and everybody relaxes because of the heat mainly. Um, but we have to continue and it is just scorching and really really difficult to get motivation and to work through like even just being at home is hard like in the rooms that you haven't got aircon it's mm. it never drops below 30. no it's really like last night i just had a terrible night's sleep as well we had the aircon on in our room but it just wasn't enough like i had to sleep with a damp flannel on the bedside table and just keep dabbing myself down um so yeah it's it's unbelievably hot at the moment especially to be working in and trying to keep some kind of routine in um but today is exciting so we have got the plumber there the electrician there um plastering is continuing ryan's got a little bit more boarding to do we have got Nicola there who's just amazing at everything, any job you give her, she's just handy to have on site and she mm -hmm. organises everything and everybody and I am going to be stripping the doors, not sanding the doors anymore because we could have been dealing with uh, lead paint we realised, so definitely not sanding but we've got some new paint stripper to try to see if we can lift the paint without making any dust um, so yeah a really really busy day at the property today it's 9am and it's so so hot already yeah. um, but we'll bring you along and give you updates oh is this for me look at that happy birthday love <laughs> special so that should strip it then yeah What's big that? big cap on good paint stripper because i think that paint that we've been stri stripping is like paint, lead paint yeah. and i've been like you I had a mask on though i had a mask on yeah but still my clothes and everything oh that's
of our progress so far on the apartment. So we're just about finished for the day. Everybody's gone home, just me and my own left. And we are up to the final coat of plaster on the walls in the main living area. Not yet on the bedrooms. We're still on some of the first coat in the bedrooms and a bit hasn't been started. But in here, huge progress. Look at these walls lovely i think they just need a light sand and there's just this back wall here to finish off which is where all the kitchen units and everything are going um the doors are in progress and i feel like they will be for a while because they just take forever like stripping them all back and then getting them sanded ready for new paint and also removing all these mechanisms as well because we're going to get some new um you know like the lockable system for there in brass or gold so that's a never-ending task but we're on with it and um, so that's this room let me spin you around so here we go you can see it all coming together kitchen is going to go all across this back wall and all along this one as well and then i think it finishes about here and then there's a nice big island going in the center um sofa on this back wall tv on this wall and I think we are thinking about having like a media station built on this wall as well, but not straight away. The road noise is quite bad, but that's apartment in city life. A little bit different to villa in the countryside. Um, then we've got Nancy's bedroom here, which has it started being skim jet in here? I think the ceiling maybe. And the bathroom, her little ensuite um is on the way so this is the macerator been fitted i actually know what one of these is now from hearing ryan talk about them so it's when you've not got the i think it's when you've not got the um the slope for the drainage it's for the toilet system basically to to churn everything up so it can do the waste disposal properly because you all wanted to know that lovely and yeah in this corner she's having like a shower there then she's having a vanity unit and mirror there maybe a storage bathroom cabinet on this wall toilet is going here so small but cute everything she needs efficient and anything to update us on hun anything to update you on yeah look this is like one of my favorite parts this hallway here it's much more narrow now but um, it's still quite wide though for all It is still quite wide. I'm happy one, about that. But look, out. look how wide it was. It went right up to here. So this is how much space we've pinched for the bedrooms. But what a wide... It's, it did have it built-in wardrobe huge. though, didn't it? It did, yeah. It had built-in um, storage all across this back wall. So all we've done is, it, it's the same width. To your yeah, eye. kind of is, yeah. Because all we've done is taken that and moved it to there. Yeah, and I love the high ceilings. Have you shown them the archway that I did? Yeah. I know, Ryan's very, very impressed with himself because he actually created this archway here. It did already have an arch, but obviously it, it was, it was much wider. So a new arch had to be created because we have um, changed the space. But you've done a great job there, hon. Oh, and I've not actually told you as well, we are having some lovely deep uh, coving. Cornice, some people call it. Co cornice, coving, the fancy deep traditional coving all around the top. So the guys come in to have a look and uh, show us some designs for that next week, which makes me very excited. And I'd love to take the coving all down the hallway as well and just do it everywhere we can because Another one of my favourite features is the um, high ceilings. Uh, our bedroom, we've just been working out the space once we've got the fitted wardrobes in. It's not huge, this place. It's an apartment, but pros it's and cons. It's a decent size apartment. And it's decent for an apartment. 
It's decent for an apartment. We're going to be well, in our favourite favourite city, which is a different kind of lifestyle. So it was all plumbed up, ready to go, and we've now bought inset valves and all that. So now we're going to have to change all the plumbing. Oh really? Yeah, all of it. Because this is for a surface mount. Well, one. you chose the taps and stuff. Yeah, no, but they look way better. Yeah. Yeah. Than that big thing that was there. So now we're having in the wall, um, the bath taps will be here. Bath comes out to about where you're stood on a bath. Did be you hear that? I'm getting a bath. Finally, <laughs> getting a bath. I am so excited. I haven't had a bath. Well, I've actually had a bath, you know, but I haven't been in a property with a bath for a year and a half now. No. And, oh, Gosh, I've really, really, really missed it. I'm gonna have to start turning that water off because it builds. I used yet. to get a bath every day. Anyway, just my little. Um, anyway, me time. Let me just um, carry on doing my spiel. Sorry, the bath situation is very important. So time. bath with the bath taps that will be built into the walls. Yeah. And then you've got a shower with a shower valve set, which will be about there. That has a little and then two valves there, and then a shower head that just pokes out the wall. Okay. And with a shower screen on the corner bath. Yes. And then we've got a double vanity unit going here, but again, the plumbing's wrong because we plumbed it up for surface taps within the sinks. Uh, and now we've got wall taps, uh, which okay. have valves and are built into the walls themselves. Mm-hmm. Toilet here, door opens that way. Probably a nice towel rail on this wall. Again, not. Which way did you say door open then? Does it go in that way? Yeah, because yeah. that puts the toilet behind it, yeah. Yeah, and this had a suspended ceiling in this uh, bathroom, so that came out. I'm going to count the switches and today and get all that ordered. Love it! And that, everybody, is our progress so far. Can you believe we're actually going to be moving in in four weeks time? It doesn't seem doable at the moment, but Ryan always says it's all in the prep and I believe him, he's done it so many times, it is all in the prep. Um, but thank you so much for tuning in and following our journey and our progress. I'm so thankful to be sharing it all with you, I'm so happy you're here. Please remember to subscribe if you're enjoying the videos. It really does help me out and means that I can keep creating more content for you and sharing it all. And that, guys, is a wrap. And I will see you in my next video. Hopefully, with tons and tons more progress, we'll be able to see visually it all coming together. I hope so. But um, have a great week, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.